In this tutorial, we're going to go through PathCam's basic path controller setup. To get our camera to move from a waypoint to another waypoint, and maybe some more around our scene. So I have set up for you a bunch of prefabs here. And for this scene, we're going to use a, the basic path controller. And as you can see, the path controller includes uh, the main camera, or the camera that we're going to want to move from waypoint to waypoint, and a waypoint array that we can set up. Now we don't have any waypoints set up in our scene yet, so we're going to come down to our prefabs and go for our waypoint start. And you can see that shows up over here in green. And on our waypoint script, we have a bunch of positions that we can set up. In this case, it's going to be the starting position, so it doesn't have any uh, other variables that we can set up. This is going to be the position that our camera is going to snap to uh, when we go to begin our path. I'm just going to rename this real quick. Rename this one underscore start. Okay, let's add another waypoint just a middle waypoint now. Uh, you can see that it shows up as middle position and it has a couple other settings here so if we use the look at object, uh, look at object is going to take an object that we can set the camera to look at as we're traveling from one waypoint to another. If you leave it unchecked it's just going to be uh, the camera is just going to look directly at the waypoint itself. Uh, the approach speed is going to be the speed at which the camera travels from one waypoint to another. Uh, the rotate speed is the camera's rotation speed to the waypoint or to the object that you set up, look at object. And the transition is going to be a distance or stopping point uh, for the camera to transfer to another waypoint. I'll show you an example of that in a minute. Let's do some quick setup. I'm going to do the approach speed of 2.5. We can leave the rotate speed. And the transition of 0 0.01 means basically that we're going to get to, pretty much going to get to the waypoint's position before we transition off to another waypoint. So I'm going to rename this. Waypoint 2. I'm just going to duplicate that. Waypoint 3. And let's move waypoint 3 a little bit out of the ways here. And we're going to bring up a waypoint end. We'll call this waypoint 4 underscore end. And as you can see, our we're choosing the end position, which has basically the same as a waypoint, except it's going to be our ending position. And you can also see that it shows up in red here, so you know it's the ending. I'm going to change the speed again and leave the rotate speed. If we're going to go back to our path controller, now we have all of our waypoints set up. And we have an array of four waypoints that we want to hit. So we have our start and our second. Now as soon as I added two waypoints, you can see two things happen. You can see that there's a line between the two. And you can also see there's an in-between distance. This distance is uh, basically the distance between this waypoint and this waypoint. And they should show up throughout all of them. And you can see we have a nice little path here that we have. Okay, I'm going to set up our main camera as our main camera in the path controller. Now let's bring up our game view and see if we can hit play and run this. And now you can see our camera is moving towards the next waypoint fairly slowly. Uh, let's see if it hits that transition distance. Uh, it 
looks like we set it a little too low. So I'm going to go back and fix these waypoints. I'm going to bring the transition distance up to, let's say, 0.3. So basically now I just set waypoint 2's transition distance to 0.3. So if the camera gets within 0.3 of this position, this waypoint's position, then it's going to move on to position 3. I guess a better way would show, I'll just set it to 1. And we can see that. So you got to 1 and then it moved directly on to uh, waypoint 3. So I'm going to set up the other transition distances to be 1. And maybe we can speed things up a little bit too. We'll double the speed of this. Alright, now you can see that our camera is going through our little path that we have set up, rotating towards the waypoints uh, at a, the exact speed that we want. So in the next tutorial what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through these waypoints and we're going to talk a little bit more the, about the transition distance and we're also going to set up look at objects.